All right, all right. Hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. And this time around, because my channel is completely random, it seems, I'm going to do a baking, light baking um, video, right? In Unreal Engine 5, right? This comes from a lot of people asking, can we still bake lights in Unreal Engine 5? So this is the truth, all right? So here it comes. What I have here right now is Lumen, right? Lumen is running, is running, you know, full steam in this uh, mega scan abandoned department, right? And let me just show you. I'm going to be jumping a lot, you know, into the project settings because, um, yeah, we need to, you know, check out truth about you know what are we using to render so this is what we've got right now it is you know uh, vanilla and real engine 5 that means that is global illumination lumen reflection lumen we're not using hardware ray tracing when available meaning that we're going to have the lumen scene reflections all right i'm using the detailed tracing both for you know reflections and um and the diffuse uh, bounces, right? I'm using the virtual shadow maps. That's why we have these beautiful uh, shadows, you know, uh, diffuse shadows in uh, our, our, our wall right there. And of course, we are running our sub temporal super resolution. Um, so that's that. That is how we are rendering this today, all right? So this is what we got. We got, you know, something around 25. Yeah, it's not, you know, perfect. Remember, you know, my rig is not that powerful, but it is what it is. It, it does the job, right? I'm fairly, you know, above uh, 24 um, um, frames per second, right? With everything Lumen um the best look that lumen software can um you know achieve right but now let's say that we want to bake this we want this to run you know uh, at 120 fps and that is our mark right now so let's go let's go let's see how we can do it so the first thing that we need to do and just letting you know these mega scan abandoned apartment it's ready to bake right everything has pretty pretty much you know everything um uh text um uv wise and uh the texture resolution for the light um the light textures are you know perfect all right so we are not uh doubling into that we're simply going to bake this thing because you know the bake um th this comes already baked i just you know uh, delete that bake if you're wondering how it uh, is as easy as going to, you know, the world setting, uh, setting for no pre, no pre computed lighting and you bake twice, you know, the first time it will uh, unassign the textures from the materials. And the second time that you bake, it's going to remove the light maps, you know, altogether. Right. So now we are completely dynamical and this is what we get. Perfect. So now, first of all, of course, we need to remove the force no computed lighting meaning that we do want to bake lights you know now and then we must go you know to all our of our lights and let's switch them all to static so static 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 and or on our uh, skylight static so now we have all those preview thingies um this thing right here we can fix fairly easy I believe is one of is this one? Yeah, it's this one. So I'm going to move it. Um, come on, a little bit to this side. That's right. Now, now we don't have those light leaks there, and I'm going to just save this. So this is going to remain. All right, that's good. So how are we going to bake? We're not going to use swarm agent for this one because. To tell you the truth, I'm not going to be playing with that anymore. Once you know you get the ability to do GPU landmass, that is how you should go. You know, 
all the time. So, you know, forget about CPU, um, light baking. That thing is gone, long gone. So that means if you want to use, you know, the GPU light mass, you need to um, uh, turn on the plugin. All right. So be sure that you're going to enable that plugin. All right. So my plugin window should be somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, here it is. All right. So you search for GPU light mass. There it is. So you should have this one enabled because it's beta is not on by default. Uh, but as soon as you turn it on, it's going to recompile a couple of shaders and very soon you're going to have in your build menu, the GPU light mass right here. All right. But for that one to work, you also need ray trace. You know, you need to convert your scene to ray tracing. Okay. And what I mean about ray tracing is the legacy ray tracing. Okay. So let's go and do that. It's fairly easy. We have our post processing volume right here. And if we go down until we see our global elimination me method, we're going to switch it to standalone ray trace duplicated, right? If by any chance you don't see that thing working, you must go to the ray tracing global elimination and be sure that you select any, you know, the one that you find that is going to work either brute force or final gather, but by default it's going to be disabled. So once you turn it on here, it's not going to show. You need to go to the uh, ray tracing global elimination. And for now, we're going to stick with brute force, right? You can play a little bit, you know, with the max bounces and the sample. Uh, but those that are, that, are that, I, that I selected are pretty much very good. All right. And just for fun, I'm going to all, also turn on our reflections to be a standalone ray trace, right? And then we are left with, you know, the type of shadows that you want to use. So I bet that you could bake with uh, virtual shadows, but let's go, you know, full, full ray tracing, right? So that means we need to open up again, our project um, settings, go to rendering and right here where we have our support hardware ray tracing, we have our, you know, ray trace shadows. And those are our ray trace shadows and of course, ray trace skylight. And that's it. Now it doesn't matter this because this is, um, override here with the post processing volume, right? So forget about this lumen here, but these, we cannot turn on from the post processing volume. That's why I need to revert, you know, always to our project settings. Let's see now how we do, right? This seem very nice. As you see, I'm tanking, completely tanking on FPS. Ray trace is beautiful, whatever, but that thing is simply too much. All right. Uh, for a scene like this, where you have, you know, this micro det detailing down here, it's simply too much to bound things and to make everything look clean. You see everything is dancing around, but let's fix that. The easiest way is to go to pop, pop, build we go uh, GPU light mass and it has like two speeds, like slow speed if you have real time turn on here, or it's going to be much, much faster if you turn off the real time of your viewport, right? So I'm going to do that from here. It's going to be the same as, you know, going here and turn it off. This is just like a shortcut and uh, that's it. I'm not going to play with anything. I just want these to be baked. So there it is. All right, my capture might get a little bit wonky because my GPU should be, you know, working at is fastest, you know, doing this. And as you see, it's a, I don't know if any of this has been recorded uh, because again, the GPU should be very busy, but as you see, it's a fairly, fairly fast and easy process. So we are 50% in and rising and very soon we should have a complete baking. So what's the deal with Unreal Engine 5 and baking, right? Words is around that, you know, Unreal Engine 5 cannot bake. No, you do can bake. What you cannot do is bake with Lumen. Lumen is not ready for baking. And also, so you know, neither does Nanite. So if you want to work uh, baking your light in Unreal Engine 5, you can 
although you're not going to be able to use neither Nanite nor Lumen. So you must, you know, revert to the old ways of the real, right? And because we're using, simply because we're using GPU light mass, I reverted, you know, to um, ray tracing. And that's it. We do have our um, scene baked. And I want to show you that this is baked uh, by simply doing something pretty fast. I'm still tanking, and that is because, you know, on top of the bake, all my lights are still, you know, ray tracing. So I'm going to go, uh, I bet is, yeah. Ray tracing, force, all ray tracing effects zero. That's it. Now, we are not ray tracing anymore. You see my FPS I are through the roof. Now you can see a, a much, you know, easy to run, you know, scene. We are running at the highest that, you know, 120 FPS, right? Everything is baked, of course. You can go, you know, and and go build and select, you know, higher quality. So you get, you know, higher quality bounce and stuff like that. But I just wanted you to know and do a video proof that you can do baking in Unreal Engine 5. Although you're not going to be able to do it from um, Lumen nor Nanite, but I'm going to turn off all my lights, right? Improve. I have no lights right now, right? Uh, maybe we do need that skybox, right? But there it is. Everything is baked. Everything is full, you know, um, FPS. And if you take, you know, a little bit of time and play with, you know, the baking settings, you should have an amazing quality um, bake at the end, right? And yeah, that's how it is. So if you're still working, you know, on an LED volume and you want, you know, all the juice, you know, at all the time, baking is still a solution inside Unreal Engine 5. Forget about Lumen. If Lumen is tanking your scene and you need to get, you know, to a certain FPS, revert all, all your nanites and convert this thing to ray tracing and bake your lights. And that is the way the cookie crumbles. You know the drill. I love you all. Be good. And I'll be seeing you very soon. All right. Love you. Bye bye.